Hello YouTubies, my name is Corey. Welcome back to Axiom Verge. So there is another boss room, and uh, I thought you guys might want to watch my rage, as since that seems to be uh, the, the trend. Um, and I've had a very exhausting day at work, so I am super tired and super exhausted, so I'm pretty sure I'm apt for more pain and suffering. So, okay, hold on. I have to update you guys because I don't think I recorded a video when I heard about more when I saw about more of the story they told me about more of the story and it's so complex I don't think I'm gonna be able to tell you guys while I'm fighting this boss so uh, apparently let me try it out let me try to do this in a short version so apparently um, uh, so the bad guy I forget his name anthrax I, for, I forget what his name Ar Ar Artitos Articos Articuno so the bad guy Articuno he um, apparently that's me in the future uh, uh, this guy uh, whatever his name is um, God, I can't remember. It's been like a week since I recorded a video, but you'd think I would know all of these names because I played it for nearly 10 hours now. I've spent this game for 10 hours of my life in this game because it's mostly just looking around searching where to go. So anyway, apparently the bad guy is me in the future and they, uh, <clears throat> uh, I wrote like this article about how physics and it was some mind bending thing and I found out how to alter physics and people were like, oh, he's a, a weird loser. He's you know, just obsessed, and so apparently we're in, like, another dimension that also may or may not be in the future or something, because apparently this guy has learned how to... Trace, that's his name, has learned how to jump dimensions or something, and so these big creatures, uh, the Rooks, Rusalki, uh, apparently dragged, um, I, 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 I have some sort of thing in my blood that I don't know exactly what it does, uh, but it's... It's cool, and so that's how they tracked me down, and so they pulled me from, like, modern-day dimension into, like, this other multiverse dimension or something. That's all I really know. It's still really confusing. Also, I can teleport. How awesome is that? I upgraded my lab coat, so instead of just teleporting through walls, or slowly teleporting, I can teleport in any direction, and it's awesome. So I have a bunch of- look at all these weapons. Look at all these weapons. These are all super cool. I have a- I have a- no, wait. That's not what it is. That one pierces. I have- What's the tether? This is like a tether. I love that one. And then there's also a ball. So I'm gonna try to beat this 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 new boss with this this ball sack ball uh, tether thing. Oh, I'm not doing that. I am not doing that. What just happened? <laughs> I didn't teleport all that way. I am confused. Oh crap! This one doesn't even look partially human. <laughs> and done. <laughs> So part of the cool cool part about this game is trying to okay come on I'm with you I'm with you real good this is a really weird okay hold on let me try so part of this game that's cool about this game is trying to figure out which weapon is gonna work best um, against which boss but there's only been like four bosses so it's also hasn't been that crazy of a of a thing oh also I have a big explosion axiom thing it's like this thing but in a giant bomb form that's really strong. Dude, can I even hurt this guy with this thing? I go, oh, he's pooping out bugs. Watch out. Also, I have, yeah, I, I have a lot of upgrades since you guys saw me last time. I can't, okay, that does nothing. Okay, I have to get a different weapon. Hold on. <laughs> can this one pierce through his crap? Nope. Oh, but it does keep, ow! Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. You know what? Okay, ow. You know what? Screw it. Let's go back to my favorite shotgun. This is probably my favorite. This is my favorite weapon in this game. Probably because it's so darn strong. Okay. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna die so hard. Um, I have a reflector one. I have this guy that I've never really used. As Apparently I was supposed to use it on like the second boss. What's this guy do? Oh yeah, multi-shot. Multi-shot. That's cool, but I think it's really weak though. Really, all of my guns are weak, except for this one, kinda. This one's like a medium. All of my ones are weak, except this one's like a medium. And the uh, the shotgun is, of course, a freaking shotgun, so that's like the stronger. Oh, it's only when his mouth is open! Oh, well, I died already. Okay. So that wasn't as ragey, because I was talking to you guys, and I was selecting weapons, and I was trying to show off all of my fancy new toys. So once I do this another, oh, two or seven times, I'll actually probably start raging, because that's when I'll start getting tired of it. And, uh, yes. Also, I don't have a lot of time tonight. 
Because I'm supposed to go see my friends. Because, yeah, I actually, I, I do have friends in, in the real life. Why did I teleport across that... Can I teleport out of here? Uh, nope. <laughs> That'd be too easy. Bing, 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 bing. Okay, so, ow! He just poked me in the face. He's like a giant spider moth thing. I will get... Stop pooping out these guys. I guess I could just stand here and do this. And then dodge. Oh, epic... Oh, I'm not quite good. Stop poking me in the bum! I didn't stop it. Stop it. Okay, he's figured out that I know his weakness now. Stop it. <laughs> this guy doesn't seem as ow. Okay, there's a little bit of splash damage. This guy doesn't seem as bad as the ow as the other bosses, except those guys are annoying as heck. Okay, come here. Ugh. Ah, no, did I get him? I can't even tell. Oh my god. At least they give me health. It's better than nothing. Oh, okay, I, I can't even get in position now. Ah, oh, because I know, because he knows. Dude, I don't have like a, a homing missile. This guy's always cool. Because it's just like, pow, 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 I hit everything on the screen at one time. But it's also pretty weak. It's not like super weak, like all of my other weapons. Oh, I'm just kidding, it is super weak like all my other weapons. Even though I keep getting power upgrades and my stuff keeps getting bigger and better. <laughs> ah, crap. It's impossible to hit something at close range if you couldn't see that weapon. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ow, stop poking me in the face. I'm gonna die so hard. I was doing alright with this one, though. Because all I gotta do is kind of just aim in an upward fashion so... That was fast! He came at me fast, bruh! He came at me fast! Okay. So, I'm not doing too bad with this gun. <clears throat> I can't tell, actually, the strength of these guns, and I wish I could. Um, and one thing about this game... <clears throat> that I don't really... The only thing... Okay. 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 I do have some criticisms about this game. And one is that... <clears throat> The biggest one is probably that a lot of this game just kind of seems like wander around aimlessly and try to figure out where you're supposed to go. And th yeah, that's that. Um, it's kind of like the opposite of oh my god, <laughs> oh my god. It's kind of like the opposite of a uh, hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now. I'm gonna die so fast. Okay, he doesn't like that I'm trying to hack this. He doesn't like he don't like that at all. You don't like that. Stop it! God, just kill me now. Ugh. Oh god. Oh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, like my one complaint about this game <clears throat> is that it's really kind of uh search around aimlessly till you find out where you're supposed to go. And I know that a lot of these, you know, like, Metroid clone sort of games are like that, but, I mean, I guess I was in the mood for something a bit more, you know, streamlined and a bit more, you know, story-driven as opposed to just only really exploration-driven. Oh, God, okay, okay, this guy's getting hard now. Um, <clears throat> because as I said, I've spent almost... 10 hours playing this game. That's a long time. At least for, I feel like you guys are far back away from me. Come on, come closer, come closer to daddy. There you are. Um, yeah, that's a long time playing a game, in my opinion. Like that's, that's longer, I think that's longer than the totality of Undertale that I played. And that wasn't a long game at all. But, you know, eight hours is about, you know, average for, you know, start to finish story game. Um, and, and I don't know, I guess I just, they just, they just, t they just never tell you where to go in this game. And I can see how that'd be what I do. I can see how that would be cool if you're in the mood for an exploration game, but, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's also because they haven't really told me anything about the story at all. That might be part of it. 
I mean, they have told me. No, that's a lie. I did just tell you part of the story. But, um. God, how am I supposed to dodge that guy? Uh. But yeah, so I mean, I, that's, that's really just my one complaint. But it's not even that it's like, oh, explore and it's cool. It's like you have no idea where to go in this light. It's like I had to look up a guide, I think, five or six times. Ooh, hello. <clears throat> just to figure out where the crap I was even supposed to go at points. And... <laughs> I mean, if it's a secret, if it's an upgrade you're trying to find, like, there are some secret areas I don't think I've showed in this game that aren't even on the map, and it's just like you sort of find a broken wall and, oh, you're in an area that you're not supposed to be in, says the computer lady. And then you go anyway and you find like an upgrade or two. And it's really cool, and it's not part of the story, it's just like a cool, you know, secret part. Now, if you're doing something like that, sure. Uh, wow, really? I barely ranged at all. <laughs> this may have been the easiest boss in this game. And I think it was also the biggest. No, 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 that one guy was huge, what am I saying? Uh, really? I'm trying to clear all the all the map. Come on, give me the map. <laughs> really? I suppose we could venture out a little bit. Um. Anyway, that's really my only complaint about the game. Oh, also the weapons. The we Oh, that looks cool. The weapons are so cool in this game, like that glowy thing. But they're all. Except for like three of them are extraneous, and you don't need them, and I suppose it's the same thing. And uh, like they don't, like I was saying, it's cool to figure out what weapon's gonna work better on the boss. But as you can see, I used the first weapon that I got like that entire time, and they, they don't like look at like oh you can't show you right now because I'm the little droid guy. I mean, you saw how many weapons I had, but I never used them for anything. Ever, except I'm like, oh, I'm gonna mess around with this, and then 10 seconds later I get bored and go back to my shotgun, you know? So, anyway. Those are really my only two complaints. The soundtrack is about to. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's so cool! <laughs> I thought it meant it was gonna teleport the drone. Oh my god. <laughs> well. Well, ladies and germs. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. Woo! <laughs> well, I think I just broke the game. Ow, what are you? Why are you glowing? Why are you glowing like that? But yeah, this soundtrack is amazing. That's probably one of the best, if not the best, parts of this game. Oh, the, the art style is fantastic. Um, it's uh, it's very creative. Like it's it's obviously a very creative game, but um, yeah, I, I feel like I feel like the sequel is going to be amazing. That's going to be a fantastic game. <laughs> Uh, this game is amazing, I keep playing it. And I, I'm so critical only because it's so close. It's so close to being amazing. Aha, I got the map. Got the map! I got the map, I hexed it. Yeah! <laughs> Mofo. This game is so close to being a very, very fantastic game. And I guess that is why... That is why, uh, I guess it, it bothers me as much as it does. Um, so, there's that. I thought this was going to be boss ragey, but this is more just me ranting as I give the smackdown on a boss. I did that, what, three times? <laughs> that wasn't that bad at all. Man, all the videos I've recorded for this game have kind of just gone downhill. As far as, like, expectations. Which I suppose is fine. Well, let's see what else I can do with this with this thing for a while. Because there's an area... Wait a second. How far away is that area? No, you know what? You know what? We're going to end this episode here. So, <laughs> thanks again, YouTubies, for listening to me rant and rave and uh, not have a, a raging experience, I suppose. It was a bit rageful. 
But I kind of figured out how to beat that boss pretty easily. And it wasn't as stupid as some of the others. So anyway, check out some of the annotations uh, and subscribe to look out to check. Check out some of the other videos that I've done. Some of the silly, goofy ones. They're all, they're all silly, goofy, I suppose. At least I try my best. Um, and I succeed, and you can't say otherwise. So, meh. Um, any who's. So, do that. Yeah, this is bad. I'm just so thrown off by this not being what I expected it to be. That I'm so, like, it's done. It's very underwhelming. But, meh. It is what it is, I suppose. Anyway, thanks again, YouTubies. I'll see you when I see you. Love, 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 love. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Let's do this! Oh god, he electrocuted the floor, watch out. Get the, get the, get! So did you know if you press B in the air you do a butt slam? What? <laughs> oh my god! You go straight Mario on the floor.